Everybody, it's me Debbie. I didn't really have a plan for this video. I just turned on the camera and started filming my process, but that turned out to be exactly what I wanted to talk about with you guys. Process. So if you were following along with the little notes that I've put on the video, you will know that I'm trying to figure out how to use Neo Color. I think it's a really cool medium and something that I've recently discovered and I find exciting. It has a really nice texture and I just find it really easy going. But I just wanted to figure out how I wanted to use it exactly. So that's what I'm doing in this video, just some explorations, figuring that out. I know that I wanted to use it as a tool to explore color in a really easy way because I find that you can put down a mass of color really quickly with Neo Colors. And so you can get really like graphic and quick and just see color relationships very quick. And that's something that I really want to work on. I was still working things out in these first thumbnails and just trying different color palettes, seeing what I liked. And the first one, I really didn't know how to tackle it. And I think I kind of lost, lost the plot there. Uh, with the second one, I really like the colors, but I thought that it was lacking in contrast. So they were all kind of like the same kind of middle value. And in the third one, I actually really like those colors and it was very like postery, graphic-y. It's kind of my vibe. The last one with the, with the leaves, I think it was cool up until I added the background and then I think it was like too much yellow. I think it probably should have been blue, but also not my kind of color palette to be honest so finding my process with this medium is also about removing obstacles i am all about trying to remove as many blocks to making art or just quickly exploring something without having to think about too many things at once so with this exercise, I knew that I wanted to just work on color and composition. That's kind of what I think 
I want to use Neo Colors for to explore color and composition. So I remove the need to think of any ideas because that's not what this was about. So I brought in some objects and I'm just using them as a jumping off point. I don't have to worry about idea generating. And this is also not a drawing project. So I'm not worried about accuracy or anything like that because this is really a color and composition exercise. And I've found that this is useful to me to just like figure out what I'm doing with my art practice session so that I don't get carried away in the things that I don't really want to tackle that day because there's so many elements to making art and I find for myself that finding a focused intention for what I'm wanting to tackle that day helps remove a bit of the pressure and also lets me not get boggled down with details that are, aren't important to me on that particular day. After doing the thumbnails, I thought I should try a full on kind of neo color painting, I guess. And I did not enjoy it at all. It was a struggle. It was a struggle and then I stopped because I was not enjoying it. And so I knew that that was not something I wanted to do in the future and I think that's fine I actually I think that's good to find out what you like to do and what you don't like to do because art like the bulk of it is process the bulk of it is the time that it takes to execute and finish something so you gotta enjoy the process like process is like 90% of of the thing right so if I don't enjoy painting like doing kind of like a colored pencil painting I don't even enjoy colored pencil painting it's just like not my thing it's it doesn't excite me I don't enjoy the final product and I don't enjoy the process so why should I force myself to do that when there's so many other ways to use tools and there's so many other ways to make art so like just enjoy what you're doing because I find that it makes you happy and it makes you excited and when you find your your process that you enjoy everything just seems easier you know it becomes more effortless I mean it still takes effort but because you're having fun it doesn't feel like effort and I think that's where you want to be All right, that's like where I want to be I want to be in a place where it is exhilarating I used to force myself to do things I don't want to do and I don't even think that's necessary I don't even think it's necessary to draw things that you don't want to draw I think it's like a, a matter of quantity. So draw the things that you want to draw, do it in the way that you want to do, find the processes that you like to do. Because the more excited you are about the process, the more you'll do it, and the more work you'll make, and the better you'll get, you know? So in the end here, I found my groove, and this is how I want to use Neo Colors in the coming future just uh these kind of like little thumbnail sketches with some color play to work out design and color yeah color design and composition so i hope that inspires you just grab three objects do your exercise whatever that may be and uh, have fun so if i was forced to describe this method that i'm going to be using i guess it'll be smaller thumbnails because i want to work quickly and i want to have solid fills of color because i like the way it looks and i like kind of like the crayon feel of it all and i am going to do this kind of like more geometric -y drawing just for the speed and also for clarity and i look forward to playing around with this I even picked up three more colors the other day. So I hope that gives you ideas on how to use your new colors if you have any. And have fun with them. Thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you at the next one. Bye bye.